dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, guys, when we're going to be finding the standard form of a polynomial, first thing we need, or I'm sorry, when we need to figure out the degree and the leading coefficient, the first thing we need to do is put it our polynomial in standard form. And remember, this is a polynomial because it is the addition of two or more monomials, right? Each one of these is our monomial. And since I'm adding two or more of them, this is a polynomial. Remember, to put them in standard form, we need to rank our degrees or our exponents. So I need to take, when we rank them, we rank them from greatest to least. So I look up here and I say, what is my largest degree or my largest exponent? And you can say, obviously, this 5x to the third is the highest or the greatest. So I'll say 5x to the third. And then I look to find the next one. My x squared is the next one, right? So then this term comes next. Remember, this is a negative 3x, so it becomes a negative 3x squared. Then, if there's no exponent up there, we know there can be a 1 up there. So then the next one becomes plus, since it's a positive, it's plus x. I don't need to write the 1 up there. You can if you want to. And then the last one is going to be always your constant, or your number of variables, 4. All right? So now it's in descending order, or now it's in standard form. And the way that we know it's in standard form is you can see that my exponents go from largest to greatest. All right? Um, and if I just want to be technical, uh, we'll talk about that later. So now the next thing is I want to find the degree. So our definition of our degree of our polynomial is the largest exponent degree of the whole polynomial. So I look at this, and obviously, since I've ranked them from greatest to least, what is the largest exponent I have? Three. So the degree, the degree of the polynomial is three. Okay. Each one of these monomials has a different degree, but the degree of the whole polynomial is the largest degree, which is three. And then the leading coefficient, okay, is of your front term. It's your numeric coefficient of your variable, which in this case is going to be 5. So for these types of problems, if I say, you know, find the degree and, and, uh, and leading coefficient, put it in standard form. The degree is your highest exponent. Your leading coefficient is the numeric coefficient of your leading term. Okay? That's it. Yes, Jason? I have a question. When you write it in standard form, can you do 5x plus negative 3? No, it wouldn't matter, but you know, more simplified version would just be subtractions. Yes? Are the variables going in front of all the uh, numbers? Is that Sorry? In front of, if, when you standard, or when you put it in standard form, are all the variables going in front of all the numbers? Like how the x is in front of 4? I'll have to go, let me go and finish the end of this video, and then I'll look at your question you're asking. 